My name's Peter Coates, uh, I'm a local Hamilton guy. I've been a house painter, painter and decorator for too long, decades. <laughs> uh, originally I was a ticket rider, sign rider, and I think I was about seven years old, and I painted the driveway wall with whitewash, Mount Gambia stone, and I remember all my knuckles were all scun. That was a weekend job, I still remember it, because I hated it, <laughs> it was the weekend. I didn't know I was going to paint portraits, put it that way. I've always, you know, years ago I'd paint demons and dragons and I'll do little cartoons every now and then. And a couple of friends used to, you know, when are you going to do something? When are you going to do something? I just didn't want to do it, you know. Because you paint all day. Even my daughter, when she was little, she'd say, oh, Dad, you want to help me colour in? And I'd say, no, mate, I colour in all day, you know. It's the last thing you want to do. When I finish work, that's it. I want to leave work at work until I wanted a painting that a mate of mine done and he wouldn't sell it to me. Until he kept asking when he going to do something and um, I said, I'll buy that big painting. He said, no, you do a painting for me and you can have that. So I painted his son, so I've got the big painting out there now. And that was it. I just got the bug and, because I didn't know, I could do portraits and um, it was interesting. Everybody's unique. And when you try to capture the person, something about them. So it's not just a, it's a portrait. There's something about that person in that portrait. And um, yeah, I got to paint them. I remember Jeff Hambry sitting in here, having a cup of tea, eating a biscuit, and he nearly choked on the biscuit. And he sat there as stiff as a post. And he said, oh, Pete, it's like you're looking through me. I said, well, I'm looking at you. You know, I was painting him. And, and I said, you can move because <laughs> he just sat so stiff and he just wanted to know what's this in the room and what's that over there, what's that, you know. And yeah, they're just regular people, you know. Interesting. And and that's who they are. Yeah, and I would just look at them and, and I've got to paint that person, you know. I remember Grumpy just happened to be here and he's sitting there and uh, it just had that particular moment, that particular look. And I said, don't move. And and I grabbed the red fez and stuck it on his head and put an old blanket over his shoulders just with stripes on it. No, I think it was a bed sheet, an old one, an old rag. And I, changed, I painted him and made that old rag look like a fur coat. And um, because he's an artist, he came back a few times and then I painted him with some brushes and a, and a palette in his hand. It's just that person at the right place at the right time. Yeah. The self-portrait of me, why did I do it? So I decided to paint from life and who was I going to paint? Well, I'm the only one sitting here, so I got pinched one of Helen's big mirrors and I just sat it there and and I had my, my grid on the mirror and I had my grid over the canvas and I adjusted the lights and I thought, right, well, I'm going to paint me. So I just sat there and I just painted me. And then people saying, how come you paint yourself left-handed when you're right-handed? I said, because I'm looking in a mirror, you know? And that's it, you can only paint what you can see. When you first look at your face in a mirror, you know, and it's like, oh God. And so you just gotta um, forget that, you know? Just, you just cut that off. And you just think, I'm just painting another person, so you don't look at yourself as you. Once you focus in on your eye or your nose, and yeah, you forget all that, you know? You just paint what you can see. You know, I've got whiskers, I've got, you know, like that is a definite line. If you don't, you paint my portrait, you don't put that in, it's not me, you know? Where women, you've got to be a bit more careful how you paint. <laughs> where guys, it's like, yeah, I've got a wrinkle, you know, paint the wrinkle or I've got a scar, paint the scar, you know? So, yeah, every, every paint can have its own challenges, you know? But as long as you enjoy yourself, you just do it. Doesn't matter, you know, what's out there. It's what goes on in your little zone time. That's your thing.